In today's video, we're going to give you a foolproof method how to get the golf club swinging on plane so you're ready for the return to golf. Many pupils that come to the golf club have different issues. One of the most common ones that I come across is swinging off plane, whether they're swinging upright or whether they're swinging flat. It's a common issue amongst golfers and one that I'm going to try and help you fix today. So what do I mean about swinging it on plane? The plane of the golf swing is determined by the angle of the golf club that you're using at address. So this is a wedge that I'm using. So that has a relatively upright swing plane. So the angle that you are creating at address is the same angle as when you get into the halfway back position. If you get a two iron, you can see how the address position of the boat are different. So therefore, they will give you a, f a different path around the body. They're both correct and they're both on plane. If you watch the golf on telly, you will hear many commenters talk about the swinging it in the groove. It's when you get in the golf club swinging it on the arc around your body and there's no deviation from it. What I do see from many of my pupils is the swing it off plane. So there's two, two aspects to this. There is swinging it flat, where the golf club is swung around the body and you can see that the angle of the golf club is, is relatively flat to the ground, horizontal to the ground. There's obviously different degrees of this. And then the other one is where the golf club is more vertical and that's called upright. Neither one of them is what we would want in a golf swing but physical limitations might mean that you do swing slightly more upright or slightly flatter than, than the ideal, but that's not a problem. So what we're going to talk about now is flat swing, what it looks like, what are the cores and what is the ball flight. So the flat swing is where the golf club is swung on a lower plane around the body and you can see that the golf club is horizontal to the ground, a little bit more flatter to the ground. What I do tend to see when people do swing it a lot flatter is they tend to try and get the golf, they think about, I've got to turn, I've got to turn, I've got to turn my body, I've got to generate that power. And what they do is they get the shoulders turning a bit too quick and the golf club gets behind them in a flat position. So if you swing it, in that flat position, so I'll just turn around this way so you can see it. At the top of the backswing, your right elbow is quite tight to your body. And this on the downswing, because you've got no space to come into, you'll, you'll drop behind it. You'll, you'll do a little bit like we mentioned before in, in a previous drill. You'll push your hips towards the target to try and create that space. But you're coming excessively from the in to out. It will result in a block. It will result in a push. If your hands manipulate towards the target, it will result in a hook. It also will give you a shallower angle of attack than you actually really would desire. And that way, you may hit the ground before hitting the golf ball. So you're hitting that fat shot, that heavy shot. So you're not getting that, that solid ball to turf contact where you're, especially with your irons where you're driving it into the ground and it's fizzing out. So now we're going to talk about upright. So upright golf swing is where it's swung on a more vertical plane. Generally speaking, I see when, when most people do this is there's no shoulder turn. And you're just using your hands and your arms. And if you do this, you will generate not as much power as you like because all you're just using is the smaller muscles and it's just up and down and therefore you'll lack power. On the downswing, you will come probably, if anything, you've got to up to here more out to in, it will create that slice, it will create that pull. You'll also have a, a more upright angle of attack on the golf ball, you'll be coming down a little bit more. 
you will hit it heavy, but not heavy in the same way as as a flat swing, because you'll dig. You know, your golf club is, is coming vertically down into the golf ball. So you'll dig a little bit more. So the divot will be a lot deeper. And also you might result in a top. So it might top it a little bit more. And it, especially with a driver, what you tend to find, drivers do not like upright sw golf swings. They don't mind the flat swing, the flat swing, because it, it, you want to hit the golf ball from the inside. You want to hit it on the up with a shallower angle of attack. With a driver, if you come down on it and get that swing plane swinging too upright, you will hit that sky, you know, where it goes straight up in the air and it goes higher than it goes further than as far. So now I'm going to talk you through a drill that I use with a lot of my pupils plus another one that is a very cost-effective explain our all plane swing. So we're going to give you the drill now of how to get that golf club swinging on plane and we just need the things that we've probably been utilizing so far in the lockdown practice. A uh, lining up stick or a garden cane and obviously your golf clubs. Um, so first things first what, what we need to do is put a golf club on the floor that's going to represent that your ball to target line and the, the line that the golf ball is, is going to be on. Then what we do is we take the lining up stick or the garden cane and put it down the back of your golf club. Now you've got a really an extension sticking out of the, the top end of the grip. That's going to help you identify whether you are swinging on plane or off plane. So we address the head end of the golf club with the golf the golf club and lining up stick going up the left side of your body. As you take it away, when you get back to the golf club being horizontal to the floor, what you're looking for is that your golf club is parallel to the golf club on the ground and also parallel to the line of your feet. Then what you would do is take the golf club up and get the, golf, the lining up stick going along the line of the golf club that's on the floor. And now when you get into the halfway back position, your lining up stick is pointing at the golf club on the floor and your left arm is parallel with the, lining, the club on the floor and also your feet. So that would mean that your golf club is swinging on plane in the backswing. As I say, when, when you can take it all the way up to the top and what you're looking at now is that the golf club and the lining up stick is parallel with the club on the floor. What we don't want is where it comes across. Laying it off ever so slightly is not too bad. It's not ideal, but it's, it's, it's a little bit better than, than going across the line. So we've got it in a, in a good position at the top. Then as we come down, we get that golf club and that lining up stick back pointing at that golf club on the floor. You come back to impact, you're back into that address position, but with a little bit more dynamic in the position. And then obviously on the forward part of the swing, you're looking at that golf club and that lining up stick pointing down to that club on that floor to make sure your forward part of the golf swing is on plane as well. That's just as important as the a, as a backswing plane to make sure that you're on plane throughout the swing. So I have a five-year-old child and a one-year-old child. We have a lot of toys and bits and bats around the house. Hula hoop is, is one of the, the things that my daughter does play with quite a bit. And we've all seen in the golf magazines, on the driving ranges, probably on YouTube as well, we've seen the explain our all the plane swing. So this is what, a Yorkshire version of the plane swing. So what you would do is just go into it, then grip all of it as if you're gripping a golf club, you know, your thumbs are on the top of the the hula hoop like so and then 
you get it in plane and then what you're looking at doing is working it up and working it down and you can see how it's working around your body. I fully appreciate not everybody has a hula hoop at home. Um, so you, you might just have to go with the lining up stick on the golf club. It has worked wonders when I've been giving pupils lessons to give them the good feedback. It's only since I've been doing a bit of homeschooling that I start to look at things around the house and how, how they could benefit you during, during the lockdown practice. Thank you very much for watching. If you've liked the content today, please give us a like. If you do struggle with this, um, please post in the comments below. Um, as it helped, does this video provide you with the tools in order to get that golf club swinging on plane? If you have yet to subscribe, please do so by clicking the link just below here. Don't forget that bell, you'll get that notification through. I wouldn't want you to miss any of the content that I've got coming up in the next few weeks. Stay safe, keep on practicing, and we look forward to welcoming you back to golf on the 29th of March. Mm -hmm.